I always want to do the tests and nice to nice to show everybody that you can you can do those tests and test well and so it was quite nice to get on the floor. How, how tough were those last two chin ups as you try to get the seven and eight? Uh, yeah, I haven't haven't got any time to practice, so it would be would be better if I I've had the time, but I I hadn't, so it was nice to have have that result. Yeah. Patrick, did the World Championships provide you with an indication that you're ready to come to North America to play with NHL players, given who you were playing with and against over in Europe? Mm, yeah, of course, it was nice experience and nice to show that and see that. You can play against those guys, and of course, it will it will be nice to someday play against those guys in NHL. And I think if I practice well, I'm I will be able to play next year in NHL. What did you, you learn from that experience playing at World Championships against NHL players? Uh, it was amazing to be there and had that experience this young. So it was. Nice to be there and have that that kind of experience. What makes you the best player in this draft? Mm, I think I have a just best of a ability to come a someday a best player in the NHL, and I think I have a maybe those other top guys are like good at everything, and they don't have that kind of one thing that they are very good at, and I think I have that. How much is when you go back to? 2009, when the Phoenix Federation committed more resources to money towards hockey. How much is, you know, your development and just development and, and, and the, the medals of Finland won credited to what happened back then? Uh, I think now we have nice, nice and good coaches in our junior teams and junior national teams, of course, and I think I, those guys have maybe more focused on each and every player like more than like a couple of years ago. So I think that's uh, important and I think we have just good confidence as a country in those those tournaments and we know we can beat anybody. How many teams did you beat? I had eight teams total. How did the uh, I think they went pretty well. I had some good conversations with the teams and it was nice to Nice to see those 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 guys from the teams, and I think it would, went pretty well. When you met with Toronto, was there anything that I'm asking you to compare yourself to Matthews at all? Uh, yeah, like in every team's interview, we had to compare each other, and I think that's pretty normal that you have to say say things like that. And I think, yeah, it was just nice to have those meetings. Is there a guy in the NHL that you try to model your game after? Uh, maybe Ovechkin a little bit. Uh, maybe some some sti similar stuff with him, and I try to kind of copy some of some of his things. What, what thing? What about Ovechkin? You try to copy? Uh, maybe his shot, and his he like likes to score goals, and he always wants to score. And if he doesn't score, he will play physical, and I like to play physical too. Asking you to compare yourself to Matthews, what did you say? Uh, I, th I said that at this point I think we're quite even, and he's better better than me in some stuff, and I'm better than him in, in some some of things. And I think we're quite even, and uh, Toronto will have a have a tough tough decision to make. Where do you feel you're better than him? Uh, I think I'm a Better shot and the ability to score goals, and I think I'm more physical than him. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah I'm going home and just get some rest and a couple good good practice, and then come back here. Still going to be on the ice now. Yeah. <laughs> Will you be going to San Jose? Uh, yeah. Patrick, I know I know you couldn't do the long about body stuff, but how important was it for you? Come here and show that you can do the upper body and you know maybe show yourself there. Uh, yeah, of course. I want to always do the tests, and those are important things to me. So I was quite upset that I couldn't do the 
lower body today and I wasn't in a better shape of my life during those tests and I think it was just nice to get on the floor. Yeah, I think I, I was quite exhausted after the season. I almost played total 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 year, so I was quite tired and I didn't have the time to prepare for the test test. So I just wanna wanted to show that I'm I'm good still still that I've had a long season. What do you do to relax now when you go home? You have a few weeks off before the draft. What do you do to relax? Uh, I don't know, just sleep and watch TV, you know, it's nothing special. Leo Komarov's popular in Toronto, Patrick. What was he like as a teammate at the Worlds? Uh, he was very funny, very funny guy, and he's an amazing team player. He's that kind of player who will play physical and just get those other top guys from their game. And I think he's one of the top guys in that category, so he was a very good guy. Uh, had a blast with him.